Hi, boys and girls. Here I am in the classroom, and I wanted to go through the classroom to kind of refresh your memory on some of the things that we learned this year so you don't forget for first grade, okay? So, characters. Characters are the people or animals that a story is about. Setting. Where, where, where are you? Setting, setting, you know it's true. Places, places, everywhere. Setting can tell when or where. Connection. Hey, I've done that before. Hey, I've seen that before. Visualize. Visualize, visualize. I can visualize. Words make pictures in my head. Of all that I just read. Visualize, visualize, I can visualize. People, places come alive when I visualize. Predictions, make a prediction, make a prediction. As you're reading in the text, make a prediction, make a prediction. Can you guess what happens next? Cha-cha-cha. Retell the story. Boys and girls, remember, we start at the beginning, then we tell the middle, then we tell the end. We've also talked about fiction and non-fiction. Remember, fiction means it's fake. It's make-believe. And non-fiction means real. It really happened. All right, let's talk about reading strategies. Don't forget our reading strategies. One, look at the pictures. Two, find the sight words. Three, switch the sounds. Four, get your mouth ready. Five, chunk it out. And let's take a walk over here to our cabinets so we can talk about our reading rules. We have our H brothers, S-H. C H W H T H and I N G says ing. Lazy E, lazy E or magic E makes the vowel say its name. But remember, it can only jump over one letter. Tricky why the robber guy steals the sounds of E and I. If it's a short word, it's going to say I. If it's a long word, it's going to say E. A-Y and A-I, what do they say? They say A. <gasps> when two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. So in E-E, -E, it says E. E-A says E. A-I says I. And O-A is over on the board. O-A would say... Oh, we've also learned about ED. ED is at the ending, which means it's already happened. So it can say ed, it can say duh, or it can say t, like hunted, waited, rented, or duh, roared, chewed, sneezed, or t, jumped. Kicked, pitched. We've also learned about O O. Though it's a stinky letter, it says ooh. And O L D says old, old. Now, boys and girls, there's so much more that I want to teach you this year. I would love to get you super duper ready for first grade to make sure that you know all of these wonderful reading rules and get you reading everything. But unfortunately, I can't because we're not here. So please don't stop. Keep learning. Keep reading. Keep practicing, okay? Because when we do come back, I want you right where I left you, okay? All right, guys. I love you. Bye.